Hey friends, what's up? Welcome to this class. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing well. Today's class, we're going to run through three different, we're not going to run through them, we're going to breathe through them. We're going to breathe through three different breathing exercises in order to help us ease anxiety, ease stress. Now, all you need is a mat, a pillow, and some type of bag uh, that you can put weight in. So maybe a backpack that you have or any type of bag, maybe like a duffel bag, and just add some weight whereby you can simply balance it on your upper abdomen. I have two little 2.5 kilogram weights here that I can place on my abdomen, but we'll be using that. So if you can kind of make shift something uh, quickly, then please you know, pause this video and do that. So when it comes to stress and anxiety, I want you the next time you get maybe upset or maybe a bit anxious or nervous or stressed, I want you to immediately try and tune into your breathing. Because most often, most of the time, you'll notice that your breathing is very shallow. And that's why to counter the effects of stress and anxiety, you have to breathe deeper. That comes to no surprise, I would imagine, to anybody. So these three little workouts are tailored to kind of work out the diaphragm and work out the lungs and create a deeper sense and a deeper ability to breathe deeply into your abdomen and into the diaphragm. And then while not doing these exercises, you'll have a sort of better natural ability to always breathe deeper. First exercise, we will simply be doing a four second inhalation followed by a six second exhalation. When you extend your exhalation longer than your inhalation, you are engaging the parasympathetic nervous system of your body, the rest and relax state of your nervous system and thereby easing any stress or anxiety that you may have, or at least helping you to ease stress and anxiety. After that, we'll come to lie on our backs in Shavasana. We'll bring that weight that you have, hopefully. I have these two little 2.5 kilogram plates and we will place them on our abdomen. Why are we doing this? To simply create a resistance. So it's almost like a workout. We're working out the diaphragm and this will really help work the muscles and help you to breathe deeper in your normal everyday life. Not to mention it will relax you as well. And then finally, we'll finish off with our last breathing, which is crocodile breathing. So we'll simply turn over to lay on our stomachs and we'll do pretty much the same thing. But now we're breathing into our bellies with the floor as the resistance. So working out the diaphragm, working out the muscles of the lungs, getting our breathing to get stronger. So in our normal lives, we will be taking fuller, deeper breaths and keeping our body in a more balanced and relaxed state. So all that being said, I spoke a lot. Let's begin. You can begin seated. I'm going to put this pillow underneath my hips. You should do so as well. Whenever you're in a meditation or any type of breathing exercise, if you want to do it sitting up, it's always good to have the hips kind of elevated a little bit. Your knees kind of going down at an angle. It allows you to really straighten your spine better. It allows you to kind of draw one line from the top of your head down to the hips. So, elongate that spine. I'll set a timer here. We'll do a few minutes for each exercise. So when you're ready, exhale all the air out. Maybe close the eyes. Let's inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to a normal breath. So inhale. Stop the counting. Keep those eyes closed if you had them closed. Come back to a normal breath. And before we transition to the next breathing exercise, we're going to do three physiological sighs. So double inhale through the nose, followed by a long exhale through the mouth. So we double inhale as in we pause. So we'll do a inhale, pause, inhale again, exhale it all through the mouth. Very simple, very straightforward. I highly recommend this at any point in your day when you're feeling a little bit stressed. So let's do it quickly, three times. Exhale all the air out. Let's do a double inhale. So inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Two more. Inhale. Pause. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Open mouth, exhale, good. Blink the eyes open, you might be feeling a little bit lightheaded. That's good, you're oxygenating the body, really opening up those lungs, getting oxygen to the head, to the entire body. So let's move on to the next exercise. You can put that pillow down where your head is gonna lie and bring that weight that you hopefully have I have these two little 2.5 kilograms, so about probably 12 pounds. And we're gonna place it, we're gonna lie down, and we're gonna place the weight really below the sternum, right on the upper abdomen. Think about the place where if someone punches you, it's gonna knock the wind out, right there. That's kind of where our diaphragm is located, where the muscles of the diaphragm will be working. So open your hands up, allow them to just extend, palms facing the sky, allow your feet to just fall open. And we're simply going to breathe here, but focusing on breathing into the upper abdomen, the lower belly, up through the upper abdomen, and then into the chest. So we're simply bringing that weight up. We're thinking about bringing that weight up and working the muscles. So whenever you're ready, take an exhale and then inhale. At your own pace, just breathing deeply into the belly. Lifting that weight up. Maybe engaging ujjayi, so constricting the throat, making that ocean breath.
You can even adjust that weight to make it more difficult. Maybe lowering it slightly down, putting more pressure on the belly. Think about continuing to extend that exhale over the inhalation. Maybe three or four seconds in, and five or six seconds out. Just a couple more breaths. Good. Remove that weight that you placed on the upper abdomen, the upper belly. Let's come back up to a seat. We're going to do three more physiological sighs. So you know what to do here. So at your own pace, whenever you want. Let's do double inhale followed by an exhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Open mouth, exhale, last one. Open mouth, exhale, good. So now for the last breathing exercise, we're gonna do the crocodile breathing. So we simply lay on our stomachs, on our front body. We place the forearms in front of us and we rest our forehead down either on the forearm or on the hand, whatever you're comfortable with. We're going to breathe into our belly. Remember, it's like a workout almost. We're breathing our belly, our lungs into the ground. We're feeling the resistance of the ground. So always thinking about that three-part breathing, Durga breathing, belly, then diaphragm and chest, and then energetically up to the neck and head. So. I'm going to remove this microphone so it doesn't get a little distorted. Let's come to lie on our bellies. I'll keep my head a little bit elevated just for the microphone. And then whenever you are ready, bring that forehead down to the hands or the forearm. And we'll breathe here for a few minutes into our bellies, deep breathing. Try and extend that exhale, make it longer than your inhalation. Whenever you're ready, let's start. Feeling that entire midline body, the ribs, the obliques expanding out. Breathing into that pressure you feel coming from the ground. Expanding.
few more breaths, really deepening your inhalation for the last few rounds. Maybe you can feel your lungs stuttering a little bit because of the resistance. That's good. It means you're working, your muscles are working, which is what the point of this is, what the point of this is. Good, let's do one more breath. Good. Lift yourselves up. Come back into a seated position. Place this mic back on. So that was it. Those three breathing exercises with a couple of physiological sighs. And the purpose of this video is to give you ideas of what you can do, especially at times where you're maybe feeling stressed or anxious, which we all go through. Doing these breathing exercises can really help you and doing them on a consistent basis as well can help you. So set yourself a time frame to do that, maybe over 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 days. I really believe that it takes 30 days to build a habit and anything under really has a less chance of sticking. So whatever you liked here, you can even increase the amount of time that you do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have anything to add, if you have your own breathing exercises that you like to do when you're feeling maybe a little bit stressed or anxious, please share them in the comment. I love to learn, to learn new things, to learn new techniques. Thanks so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great day or a night. Namaste.